would you remain standing as we pray? God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your kindness. We thank you for Ashley and Mike. We pray that you would uh, bless. God, we thank you for everything that you have given us, and we thank you for the blessings in the future. We love you in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Who gives this woman to be with? Her mother and I. And now you're here by my side. Heaven sent me to from the sky. Y'all can sit down. Dearly beloved, we gather together here in the sight of God, in the presence of all our family and friends, to join Michael and Ashley in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God. And to us, the union that is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned with his presence at the first miracle that he performed in Cana of Galilee, and is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into an advisable, but reverently discreetly, advisably, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, Michael and Ashley, you have come to willingly asking me to join you in holy matrimony. Amen. When we talked about marriage, as we call it, Ashley, you wanted this read, 1 Corinthians 3. Four through seven, and as I read it, getting ready for the the ceremony, I thought about what a wonderful picture it draws for us—a blueprint for y'all's marriage. About love, it is the love chapter. Something we can all do, and I hope you keep it in your Bible, Mark, a special place to remember. As I read this, this would be something that we can all do in our relationship. Verse four, in 1 Corinthians 13, in verse four it says, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thanketh no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. The last verse of that, that, that chapter said, Now abideth faith, hope, love. These three, three, but the greatest of these is love. I encourage you as you go through your marriage to love one another and put God first. Uh, it's been said that uh, marriage is 50 50, but I believe marriage is 100 100 from each one of you, having God at the head. And I encourage you as you grow in your relationship with each other in your love. To always put God at the head of your marriage. As we think about the vows that we talked about, I would ask you, Michael, now repeat after me. I might take you, Ashley, take you, Ashley, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to lawfully wedded wife, to love, to love, to cherish, cherish, to honor, to honor. Sustain, sustain in sickness, in sickness and, in health, and in health, poverty and in wealth, and in, wealth. In, bad days, in bad days, in good days, in good days, to be true to you, be 
until death does us part. Death does us part. Ashley, would you repeat after me? I Ashley. I Ashley. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To love you. To love you. Cherish. Cherish. Honor. Honor. Sustain. Sustain. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. In poverty. In poverty. And in wealth. And in wealth. In bad days. In bad days. In good days. In good days. To be true to you. To be true to you. Until death. Until death. Does us apart. Does us apart. Have the rings. Again, the ring is a, a symbol of our love for one another. It's a promise that you have given yourself to Michael. Michael, it's a promise you've given yourself to Ashley. And again, I encourage you as you go through, give yourself to the Lord. That's the most important. Michael, as you put the ring on Ashley's finger, would you repeat after me? I'm Michael. I'm Michael. Give you, Ashley, you Ashley, this ring, this ring. as a symbol, a symbol of my love, love. my commitment, commitment, and faithfulness, faithfulness. till death do us part. Ashley, as you place the ring on Michael's finger, would you repeat after me? I Ashley, I Ashley. give you, Michael, give you Michael. This, ring, this ring as a symbol, as a symbol. of my love. My commitment, my commitment and my faithfulness, and my faithfulness. till death it was part. Again, as we uh, pray, I just encourage you in your marriage, in your relationship, to keep God in one. As you grow together in love, your love towards God. He said in his Genesis, when he Made man and woman. He said, For this reason shall a man I told you to get it. <laughs> shall a man leave his mother and son and cling to his wife? Gives me strength. Want the best for both of So I don't walk. As Michael and Ashley have chosen the time of the night ceremony as a symbol of the strength of their love to each other and to God. As y'all watch, what a beautiful ceremony it is. Amen. I took Happiness is hard to be. Just so smile brings me to my knees. I promise you that I will be everything that you will ever need. I've gone through the mountains past the sun, over the ocean, searching for the one. Gives me strength, gives me hope, so I don't walk this life alone. Without love, I'm flying blind. Take my hand, let's ride tonight through the mountains past the sun, over the ocean. I want to ask in giving and receiving of your vows. I now pronounce you, man and wife. You may kiss your right. Oh,
and Mrs. Patterson. Yeah, I grew up Oh, my God.